Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Logan with Jacket X-Men Origins Wolverine figure. Trying to get your Marvel Legends? You can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Anyway, on the side you can see a nice silhouette image of Wolverine and then you get the same image on the back over there it says Wolverine on the side and you get that image again right over here and then you get this nice X logo right there on the top and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So not a terribly abundant number of accessories with this figure. We only get one coffee stain, but we get two head sculpts and two sets of hands. You get regular fisted hands and these beautiful clawed hands. And I really love these claws. Now I know at this point in time, I've already reviewed the Amazon exclusive and I've already reviewed the SDCC or PulseCon exclusive versions. But yeah, again, I just absolutely love these claws. These are the best Wolverine claws. If you have the Logan uh, Charles two pack relaxed hands and you want to port them into this figure, I mean, it works. And then if you wanted to use the bloodied claws from that same two-pack set, that works out beautifully. Oh, man, just love these bloody claws. So sick. <laughs> So again, we're getting a Wolverine Origins movie figure, which is not my favorite look for the Hugh Jackman Wolverine. As you can see right here, we have the bad Wolverine hair. But if you want to swap the head with the tank top version, well, you can do that as well. And I love how these are all swappable and everything. And I think that they nailed the likeness for Hugh Jackman with this head sculpt, man. I mean, God, they, they did such a good job with the likeness over here. It's insane. Really, really good work. Now, there are parts where you can see some facial hair sculpted without paint. So there are those nuances. You get some color variation right over there in the hair. And you can see the chops right over there towards the ear are missing some paint. So there are imperfections. But, I mean, really, dude, I mean, when you look at this thing, I see Hugh Jackman. And then looking at the screaming head right here, which is also very dope. Not as dope as the other one. Oh, I don't know. These are both really cool. It looks like there's a little bit of extra paint in the middle of the forehead right there and at the bridge of the nose and a little bit underneath the eye but i like seeing a screaming wolverine head so that's always cool to see i like that maybe if you could get those canines you know a little bit more prominent that would have made me happy to see but i don't know maybe thinking of comic version you know i don't remember what hugh jackman's canines looked like do you if you did, that's weird, man. Come on, get a better hobby, like collecting Yakim figures. Anyway, you can see that they're missing just a little bit of paint right there by the ear. And again, you get some nice light brown over the darker brown plastic for the hair. And then here's looking at this side again, you know, subtle missteps with the sculpt and paint, but overall looking dope. And then there's this gripe I have right over here. This is a little problem I've seen with all versions of this figure. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's two problems. You can see they've added white paint over the plaid shirt and the flesh of the chest isn't matching the shirt perfectly. So there's a little bit of gappage right there. And you can see that maroon color seeping through there. But other than that, I do think the plaid looks really good I like that a lot however when you open this up uh, you can see like you know looking at the halfway mark right over there it kind of just disappears and everything you can see the butterfly joint on the inside those buttons and everything look pretty good on the shirt and I love this soft pliable material for the leather jacket uh, some of the wear looks a little sloppy you know uh, I wish that had more of a more of a gradient to it you know as opposed to it just kind of being thrown on there but it's not bad I gotta say I really like this glossy tan colored paint right there for the you know lighter brown portions of the jacket nice stitching so we get some paint right there on the back of it. The arms look pretty good. You get those signature three stripes going on there. Double jointed elbows look great. And then some more added wear and everything. The angle right here with the cuff and the fist always tends to throw me off. It's a little bit of an irritance when I'm getting this guy posed around. I just feel like the hand is never really positioned exactly the way I want to. So that's a little irksome. Uh, the belt buckle looks really good. And you get the hoops right over here holding the belt together. This reminds me of that Mitch Hedberg joke, you know, where he said like, you know, 
know, the belt is holding up my pants, but the loops are holding up the belt. Who's the real hero? I thought that was hella funny. But anyway, uh, yeah, spend some time going back and watching some Mitch Hedberg stand up. Yeah, you'll have a good time. But you can see how the back of the figure right here, the plaid shirt, you know, just goes to a solid maroon color. There's your Logan butt. We've seen these pants before. Same deal as the Amazon exclusive. You can see some paint going over it. You know, not too bad at all. There's the boots right over there. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now going over the articulation over here, it's very similar to the previous version of Wolverine or the Amazon exclusive. You do get the ball and no hinge joint right over there. So he could only look up that far. Uh, he'll look down that much. You do get some gappage right there of the neck if you give him some pivot. But, you know, he does have that range of movement. So you definitely can give him pivot. Of course, you can turn the heads side to side. You get the butterfly joints that move forward and back. And you get the shoulder joints that move upward and out that far. And they move inward this much. Rotate a full 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And then all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. You get an ab crunch forward. Ab crunch back. Waist swivel. Hips move outward that far. He kicks forward not back upper thigh cut double jointed knees and he does have that heel to the butt right there and then he can turn his ankles side to side ankles move down they move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out the height of this logan figure you could see that it is standing just a little over six and a half inches tall then for a size comparison we have our brand new wolverine figure with the jacket next to our old wolverine figure with the jacket from toy biz this is the x2 battle attack logan i think i got that right but yeah man wow what a huge improvement over here now this is officially an x2 figure if i remember correctly so you know you can see we get the good wolverine hair on a bad figure yeah bad wolverine hair on a good figure and then for your hugh jackman fox films logan figure comparison we have the amazon exclusive logan along with this retail version right here with the jacket and then we have the sdcc or PulseCon exclusive logan movie figure and out of these three which one is your favorite for me i'm going with uh, the amazon exclusive like if i could only pick one of these three i'm definitely going with this one right over here and i also did swap some parts around and everything so you could see the jacketed wolverine figure with the bloody claws or you could see it with the good wolverine hair i just want to show images of those then here's the logan with jacket figure next to some other fox films x-men movie figures we have the magneto and professor x two-pack figures right over there and then mystique and then if they were to do an x-men movie figure next which would you like to see i'd like to see a gene gray redone i didn't like the phoenix one that they'd done from way back or an x2 cyclops that would be really cool then here's our wolverine origins logan figure next to our fox films deadpool figure and i will be doing a tutorial video on how to remove the guns without damaging the guns or anything else on the figure so stay tuned for that i did get a second copy and did anyone else notice that at the end of deadpool 2 when this deadpool shoots the wolverine origins deadpool over and over on the ground it was kind of similar to the hot toys deadpool killing big time letdown spider-man from several years ago did anyone else see that connection i could just be full of it and just totally full of myself but i kind of feel like that was a nod and crazy things like that have happened to me before for instance the big time spider-man in spider-man into the spider-verse was confirmed to be a nod to the one and only shard prime so hey it's possible not likely though and then for a logan in a jacket figure comparison we have our fox films logan right here and then we have our comic version old man logan and i really just brought this out here because i wanted to see a head swap yeah i'm having a really hard time getting this head sculpt on here it may be my weak ass hand but yeah i'm just having a hard time swapping this over and i don't want to break this figure right here maybe this will fit on yeah the ball peg sizes are different so i wanted to try that but nope doesn't really work that hair dryer okay i got it to work yeah I'm just applying some heat with the hair dryer <laughs> we have a little wolverine right there with a jacket and the long hair <laughs> but it always amuses me seeing the little Hugh Jackmans I don't know the little daddy Hugh Jackmans crack me up and then here's the new Logan movie figure next to your average six inch scale figure we have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man hey Logan whoa Logan whoa, what's with that hair that's not the Logan hair I'm used to come on I know you got the tools why don't you fix that that's the Wolverine I know badass so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that go the extra mile to make it possible for me to post these videos consistently for you guys. I really appreciate it. I also really appreciated the time off. Man, that really goes a long way. I need to recharge the batteries. So again, 
Thank you. And this figure is dope. I really like it a lot. I remember some people getting it way early on, like E. Rivera got this months ago, but yeah, it took me a long time to get my hands on it, and I'm so happy to finally have it. Now, this guy is not as cool as um, the tank top version. I, you know, I still really like it a lot, but just not as cool as that version. However, I love having all three of these movie Logan figures. I love how they're interchangeable. So for me, I had to get all three of them. And, you know, just looking at this one right over here, I'm happy with it. And at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm going to give it a sub rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.